When considering the creatures of the microbe world, it's hard to beat the stentor in terms of beauty, elegance, and charm. But there's so much more to stentors. Stentors. They're one of the largest unicellular organisms. Uh, they grow up to about two millimeters and sometimes even more, which means they can be seen with the naked eye. This also means that they're larger than many of the smallest multicellular animals, like rotifers and tardigrades. They also have amazing regenerative properties, being able to create an entire new stentor from just a small piece of the original organism, provided that piece contains both a part of the macronucleus and a piece of the cell membrane. The regeneration process takes only a couple of days. The stentor on your screen right now is Stentor igneus. This is one of the smallest species of stentor and it's characterized by its beautiful pink color. It also has a single oval macronucleus rather than a chain, as seen in some of the other stentor species. Here's a look at another species called Stentor polymorphous. The beautiful green coloration comes from symbiotic algae called chlorella. The chlorella lives inside the stentor, with the stentor providing protection and the chlorella providing excess sugars from photosynthesis. This is a large species, able to be seen with the naked eye. Probably the most well-known of the stentor species is Stentor coruleus. This large, blue-colored protist is the great blue whale of the microcosmos. The blue color comes from a pigment called stentorin. It's unclear what purpose the color serves, but it sure is beautiful. Under the microscope, it resembles stained glass, making Stentor coruleus a wonderful ambassador for the micro world. Stentors have cilia, which are small, hair-like structures that extend from the surface of the cell. They allow the stentor to move, swim, and eat. Stentors can detect light, and often swim away from a light source, preferring the dark. They respond to external stimuli by contracting suddenly. When you think about it, it's pretty remarkable for a single-celled organism to interact with its environment like that. Here you can see the holdfast organelle, which allows it to grab onto debris and stretch out, earning it the name Trumpet Animalcule. It's hard not to be awestruck by these otherworldly creatures, and charmed as you watch them swim and spin and bump into debris. I hope you have enjoyed this little peek into their world. By the way, my name is Piper, and I'm learning about the amazing microbes in our world. I've only just begun to explore with my microscope, and I'm researching as I go, just wanting to share my enjoyment of this fantastical realm right in our actual world. I hope you'll like and subscribe and enjoy learning along with me. And thank you so much for watching.